Hey guys, Cyberdena here, and in today's video, I'll be doing this look. So if you want to see how I did this, then stay tuned. So I'm just going to start out with the matte elf poreless putty around my pores. This is the matte one, which is the one that I use pretty much every time I do my makeup. I mostly focus it just sort of around my nose where I get oily and shiny. So I've got the shade 30N, which is fair. I tried using the color match thing on the website to compare it to other foundations I own. So hopefully this is, you know, at least close. It is very liquidy. And I'm just going to use a brush. This is just something that I got from Kmart. I don't even really know. And I'm just going to apply. So that is just one pump of the foundation. I think that it has quite nice coverage actually. I was expecting it to be quite light coverage. Like I can still see sort of my spots that I have at the moment and some of my redness coming through. But it has really evened out my skin tone and yeah, I think it looks pretty nice. I think it's a pretty good match. It's sitting kind of questionably on my nose, which admittedly everything does. It has a nice natural glow to it. So just to add some extra coverage where I have those spots, I'm just going to use the Light Illusion Concealer from Flower Beauty. So I think I'm going to leave that unset for now, and if I need to set it at some point I will. I'm just going to quickly contour. Alrighty, so I'm just going to have a play with the um, eye dusts and eyeliners and see what I create. So I'm just going to zoom in a bit and go nuts, basically. So with the eye dusts, I'm going to be using the Stargazer Glitter and Pearl Fixative Liquid, just to sort of turn the powder pigment into a liquid liner basically.
is what I've got using the eye dusts and the fixative liquid. It does transfer, but now I'm going to go in with the UV eyeliners and just add some extra details. Now I'm also going to try the Colourpop BFF liquid liner in the shade black, I guess. Yep, black. Just to add some additional detailing, just to bring it together with the rest of me, because at the moment it is just very neon. So, halfway through doing my chin line, the Colourpop liner, because it's a brush tip, it had kind of absorbed some of my foundation and was just sliding through and not covering. It was just leaving a gap. So I swapped to the Flower Beauty liquid liner. It was just the first one that I grabbed out of my pot of liquid liners. And I used that just to go over the chin line, add a couple of extra details to my brows and my nose lines, and I just added a black lip to finish it off. So I just chucked on the pure mascara, and I just remembered I have got the Stargazer mascaras to try as well, so let's zoom back in and try them out. So I'm going to try these on my bottom lashes just to see how they go, because why not? So I didn't add a ton of colour to the lashes necessarily, but it's still something fun I guess. It might do well over white, which I'll have to give a go at some point, but it's given the lower lashes just a little hint of colour. very good lighting obviously but you can see that it is UV reactive the pink is a lot less UV reactive than the orange but that's fine I'm still pretty excited about it it looks awesome Just a bit of fun playing with makeup. So far, the foundation is still sitting really nicely on my skin. It hasn't started to settle into my forehead line. It's bunched up around my nose a little bit, but as I say every time I try a foundation, every foundation does that. 
Oh, well. <laughs> the contour powder blended on top without setting it perfectly fine. I didn't set under my eyes. And they look fine. Um, yeah, there was no issues with that. I didn't even highlight, but it has such a nice glow that I don't need to. I like the ColourPop liner for my eyes. I think it worked really nicely. It went over the pigments really well. Um, yeah, no complaints about that. It didn't go very well over foundation, but it's not really designed to, so that's fine. And yeah, I really enjoy the Stargazer UV line. I like things that glow under black light, which is why anytime I dye my hair, I always look for UV reactive colours. Even though we can't go out at the moment to places where there are UV lights, and even if we can, we can't dance. We can only sit down. Um, it's still fun just to glow. I'll have to try the mascaras again when I have like a white base that I can use, maybe a liquid lipstick or a body paint just to coat my lashes with white first and then put the pigment on. That might work a bit better, but I don't know if I'm ever really going to want UV lashes. Maybe I could colour a pair of falsies, but if I was going to do that, I'd probably just use the pigment mixed with um, the mixing medium. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below so that you get to see every video when I post them. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.